Okay, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I actually signed up to a site called goodoldgames.com where they they actually re-release uh, classic DOS games. It seems that that's been their ambition from the beginning. They have been putting new games in. But they, they basically take these DOS games and format them through DOS Boss. <clears throat> sorry, DOS box to get them to work properly. Pretty much taking out all the busy work for if you actually have the original copy. This one, for instance, Dragon Sphere, I have the original copy, but I've never been able to get it to play. So I'm going to start by playing this one Dragon Sphere. Bam! <laughs> Yeah, Dragon Sphere among all a bunch of these others are uh, free, so so yeah, free no problem. Oh, novice, challenging. I guess a novice. The Dragon Spear stirs, my lord, and more powerfully than before. Very well. Await me in the council chamber. As you wish, my lord. Your mother and I await your pleasure. Walk across rug. Ah, before you do anything in the morning, you always need a good wash now, feel better. Blah blah blah, yeah. Needed some important text. I don't know. Oh, I, mean, I should read it. No. Oh. oh, good. There's more text. A teacher of etiquette always said, Do nothing in the clothes in which you sleep except sleep. Despite a few exceptions, you've discovered that as you grow older, you found you found it to be pretty sound advice. Now dressed in your traveling <coughs> traveling clothes, you feel ready for anything. What is it you were meant to do next? Polish ring. Give it a ring a quick rub in the sleeve. Varnished gold. Yes, a varnished gold. I don't know if there's anything I can take here. Oh, fucking weapons! Take the paddle axes. These ceremonial weapons are not meant to be wielded in combat. Let them remain as they are. Aww. I want to wield a battle axe. Fine. Could be that way. Walk through ballroom. Beep 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 beep. Hey, chambermaid. Or scullery maid. Talk to her. Not quite cleaned up yet, are we? Good morning, my lord. I trust you slept well. This place is a mess, anyways. Who had the frickin' party, man? Well done, maiden. Keep up the good work. Good morning, my lord. I trust you slept well. You didn't say just that. Okay. Oh, Blackthorn! Sorry, brother. I was just thinking, and this was a convenient place to sit. Tch. When I am dead, you may sit there. Not before. Cal grant that never happened, challenge. This guy is so friendly, uh... If I do not defeat the sorcerer, it might. True, true. Or perhaps you'll end up in the dungeon one of these days. You know how it is. Yes. Peace be with you, McMore. And with you be peace. Yeah, walk off, jackass. You blue bastard, you. I guess we'll look at the Dragon Sphere. Uh, just look at it. It's mostly risk quietly. Is it placed 20 years ago? It was a warning alarm sorts. Huh. Well, I didn't read all of it, but eh. This game has a lot of text. There used to be games that had nothing but text. Oh, jumping a gun. I had to meet the mother and the wife. I 
it was. You and your mother will be waiting in your pleasure. Oh, there they are. You've seen the dragon sphere. I pray you're not still resolved to go alone. I am. Tiernock Bronway is deadly, my lord. Why not wait safely here? Hide from the sorcerer, or at least meet him on your own ground. <laughs> if we wait, San Wei will only become more powerful as he recovers from the spell of imprisonment. I must go to his tower before he wakes fully. And I'm not gonna hide like a pussy. Will you not reconsider and take the army, my lord? I beg you. Nay, even weakened, the sorcerer has powerful spells that could destroy an army once he knew they were coming. One man, traveling alone, is anonymous. This is my responsibility and the legacy of my father. I will face the sorcerer alone. He is headstrong, like his father. Let us gift him and wish him Godspeed. Thank you. I have for you a sword of magical sharpness. May you use it to strike San Wei's head from his shoulders. <clears throat> Although it is said that no sword may harm San Wei, perhaps it will have other uses. And I have for you a small shielding spell, like the one that surrounds Sanwei's tower. Hurl this sphere at an enemy to imprison him within a field of magic. These were my fathers, were they not? That's right. And they never failed him. May they never fail you. Goodbye, my son. Good luck, husband. Please be careful. Hmm. Okay, later. Good luck on your quest. Oh, is that the stuff? Yeah, shield stone. It's funny, it sounded like they just would have handed it to me, but nah, it's over there on the table. Is it the sort of feeling of comforting heft before attaching it to your belt? An afterthought, you flip your cloak over to scabbard since seeing the king armed is where it might alarm the people. Take. Shield stone. Shimmering gray sphere feels warm to your touch as you secure it into your traveling pouch easily and accessible for use. Okay, what the? What am I seeing in that painting? It looks like someone juggling bread. The painting depicts the early council, possibly a banquet. You're never sure which. Whichever it is, everyone seems to be cooperating in which the hope of inspiring holding the council here. And juggling bread. Oh no, no, wait. That's an arm and that's a hand. It just looks like he's juggling bread. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, that sword. Carve up. Table. Carve up the taxi. You consider the consequences of such an act. Dead bodies, destroyed property, etc. And you realize that, in this case, a peaceful solution is the best. <laughs> Why did I have a passing thought to carve up my desk with a mystical short sort of sharpness. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if there's a need to be down here yet. Dungeon. Well, let's take a look. Beep 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 beep. Beep beep doo. Oh. Look. Underground under rushes beneath the floor grate. It would be impossible for a prisoner to escape the river because the grates are set in the river's path, upstream and downstream. Okay, well, I don't even know what's the point of being in the dungeon here. Maybe in the future I will be imprisoned and I have to escape through there. I don't know, I don't really remember much of the story. I remember the beginning very depictly. Catchy whistle music. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wasn't there a door up there? Or did that just lead to the same room? Just wandering around. Now, this probably leads to the Queen's room. Is that where I was? 
I was in the king's room. Oh. Flowers. Let's try taking these flowers. Oh, I might be able to. Only person who wanted to get flowers is if he owned her herself, and giving her her own flowers would be rather rude. <laughs> can the scroll? Can the screen scroll? No. King's room. That's where I started. Can I take these flowers? I don't know what use I have for flowers. What are these up here? Nothing relevant. <laughs> would be rather rude. Same. Same thing for the other flowers. Oh, what about the chest? I don't know. I don't think any of this stuff can be taken. Dee -dee -dee. Guess we leave to the courtyard, was that? Hmm, nothing to take here. Barrel, barrel, barrels. Barrel and barrels. They're very, they're very clear on what they are. Look through haystack. Hay kept in dism and drammels and often temporarily tethered. Stack looks like it was delivered in the hay and it smells sweet and fresh. How can hay smell sweet and fresh? Huh. To me it just smells dry. Freshly cut hay, I guess. Oh man, a lot of weird characters. Like a fairy. A man of Sothis Ecliptus. Greetings, guardsmen. What traveler's news is there? The fairy is here as an ambassador. He is giddy and childish. The softest Ecliptus is here to trade. He speaks of their callies as if he were as powerful as you, your majesty. The Slayton is roaming. He made some rude comments about my scar, so I have my eye on him. One false move, and... I God. Huh. Okay, so I'll talk to a few of these guys. Shape changer. So you're the king, eh? Listen, if you're traveling, you have to visit Slaven Nipatan. Why do you crave this boon? I want you to see the way your subjects are treated. Feared and hated by others. Outcasts in our own land. Why do you let... So uh. you're a shapeshifter, eh? Aye, that I am. And I apologize for being blunt. We shapeshifters can be defensive, given the way we're treated by the other races. Would it be so tough to visit our land? I don't understand. Why does this happen? Our shifting powers are shunned by the other races. They're afraid we'll take their very identities away from them. We're so misunderstood. If only you would come to Slaven and speak to our wise men, you wouldn't be so ignorant. If other matters allow, I will come to see your plight. Ask about the Cave of Shifting Dreams. You'll learn much there. Everyone does. Everyone does. <laughs> he looks like he's wearing like a modern t-shirt with like some sort of random green circle. Maybe it's an Xbox logo or something. Why do you seek to annoy fair ones? Because it's fun. Our wise men argue the question endlessly and have lots of theories. Testing our limits, learning fair one behavior, hidden hostility. I don't know. Perhaps you should ask our king. Mm, is there, a fairy? there is a fairy king? Yes, indeed. The great butterfly king. Oldest living fairy and great friend of the fair one. Surely you must meet him, for he is a powerful magician. If the rumors of your quest are true, you owe it to yourself to the Butterfly King first. And where will I find the great Butterfly King? Not a sentence you hear often in anything. Seek the magic forest of Bryn Fan and get ready for the trial of the forest maze. If you can succeed at that, they will let you see our king. Sorry, Lord, 
but that is our law when dealing with fair ones. Fair ones? You mean humans, right? Yes. You call yourself human. I don't know why, but all fairies call humans fair ones. Ah, so nice to have met you. I must go now. Goodbye, King of the Fair. May your children be a blessing to you. Yes, talk to Mr. Sophus Ecliptus. Greetings, man of Sophus Ecliptus. What is your name? My name is Tilshavet, the Traveler. I come from Desert Far, a message to bring to thee. Our kingdoms, too, have enjoyed prosperity large. We are friends great, but never have you visited our Caliph. Wow, his voice sounds really weird. It's like done with a voice change. It's really cryptic. Jeez. How can a man alone cross the desert? Why well, suggest this now? Why suggest this now? You have never before asked for such a visit. Uh, that's not in the text. <laughs> well said. Time is now, for our shamans have discovered portents large concerning you. Mysteries many our shamans can untangle. Caliph also desires visit. Uh, he seems like he said shamans. Isn't it pronounced shamans? Unless his English is really terrible, I mean, I guess that's excusable. I got a man alone cross the desert. How can a man alone cross the desert? There are friends of the softest living in the desert. With friends, any man can cross the desert great. Perhaps I could come later, after I have dealt with the sorcerer. E kadoni me kradum, if kali abrastum, as my people say. This means, if you don't prepare, then you will be late. Understand? Quest important you may have, but time is now to prepare with visit. I tell you extra secret little. Admiration lavish is softest way. This impressed greatly, Caliph. He, t he talks funny. <laughs> I'll tell you extra secret little. Could you tell me again? What was that phrase you used? You mean... Petadoli Mikratum, et Kali Ablastum. It means, if you don't prepare, then you will be late. I gotta remember that line. Petadoli Mikratum, et Kali Ablastum. Farewell for now, King of the North. Well, I got footage to turn back on. Bucket. Uh, can I take it? Take the bucket. Mr. Bucket, put your balls in my mouth, Mr. Bucket. You attempt to take the bucket, but quickly deduce that this action would be a waste of your valuable time and energy. Why would it be? I mean, you gotta have a bucket on hand. You never know how useful a bucket could be. Okay, can I pull the lever? Crank, yeah, pull the crank. There's a bucket of fresh water by the well. No need to go through such a labor of cranking up for another bucket. Why is it just tipped over? I guess they used it and just tipped that bitch over? Weird. Maybe it has a hole in it. Let's try this place. It's like an overworld. Cool. Whoa. I guess I'll talk to her. Hopefully she doesn't laser blast me. Here comes the bird. Just give a cake if he had any more hair. He looks like an ape. So who's getting married? Uh, let's see. Uh, I know not tr trying to entice her does nothing. I mean, they 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 do it just to piss us off, to annoy us. So let's be calm. And a good day to you, my fine fairy. And a good fairy. day to you, my fine fairy. The fair fight's back with biting wit. What a shame he's used all of it. With my left hand. I seek the butterfly king. Is this the way to the forest maze? Fair one comes, Fairy Francis. To get inside, you've missed your chances. Thank you. May your children be a blessing to you. You're the least fun to teach, Fair One, I've ever met. Go on inside. Maybe failing in the forest maze will worsen your temper. the orb. 
That orb was deadly. I guess it would have killed me. <laughs> oh, great. More of them. And what the hell are those? Sprite? Uh. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, shit. I should have saved. How do you save? As darkness overcomes you, you ponder the fair unfairness of your life and death, as you wonder if this race could have helped you get across safely. Sprites, these guys. Okay, can I talk to them? 